everyone, I'm uh, Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the most beautiful design on the exterior, most beautifully designed on the interior in dollar for dollar, the absolute best luxury level diesel pusher in the RV industry. This is a 2023 American Coach, American Dream model 42Q. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, and then we're gonna give you three things we love about the American Dream and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be taking a look at this luxury production coach. It's going to MSRP at $811,000, but we have a super special price only for viewers who are watching this video. Before we begin, the only person who can give you that super special price is our super special American coach expert, American Tom. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. I'm so happy to be here, especially for an American coach. The Dream is one of the best floor plans out there. It's a little shorter at 42 feet, but still giving you all the high-end features you get of the top-end coaches. I'm excited to take a look at it. Let's show you what we've got. And Tommy, let's get on personal level. You're about to get some ducks at your house. <laughs> yes, I'm uh, building a duck coop here. Um, if anybody has any advice for Tommy about his ducks yes. and his duck coop, drop a comment down below. Tom, let's begin. <laughs> So model is 42Q. What's the tip tip length and all the specs this of this motorhome? It's 42 feet, 10 inches tip to tip. So that's a real number you see with the 42Q. What I love most about this vehicle is that you can have a shorter tag axle coach that's on the best riding chassis on the market. And that is your Liberty Bridge chassis, which is a partnership between American Coach and of course your Freightliner who supplies the components, your adaptive cruise control through the on-guard situation. Of course, you have the Cummins motor, Allison transmission with a side radiator, a steerable tag, and then an independent front suspension system. It's gonna be the best riding components that you have on the market. But um, that Liberty Bridge, what makes it unique is that it replaces those C-channel rails with much stronger I-beams that add extra rigidity, extra strength, and a customized design that is really unmatched. So do you wanna start by taking a look um, uh, walking around the outside. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So talk about the headlights, and we didn't talk. Uh, everybody wants to know what's like the engine size and everything. Okay, well, um, the engine size here is going to be your ISL 8.9 liter Cummins engine, 450 horsepower. That's going to give you 1250 for torque. You got a ton of power for a relatively light coach. So, right off the bat here, I want to point out the newly designed front cap of the mm. American Dream. Now, it is mean, Tommy. It's mean, it's strong, it has those um, drop down mean. Yes. It's going to be a great stance. This whole front portion slides out with your 12,500 watt generator. You have the top mounted mirrors that are yes. going to be much better for keeping the water out of your way. And then a strong headboard uh, piece at the top. I, I like the chrome that you have in it. It brings it all together with your mirrors, the side doors and everything. It is a good looking coach driving down the road. And that really is half of it. Yes, definitely has a great look. And you can see as that continues with your paint job. This is all custom Sickens paint done at the American Coach paint facility. They even paint the inside of your slide boxes, which we'll show you here in a little bit. And then you have a textured design as it moves around the back. I wow. just think it's very clean and very up to date. Now, since you have the roof integrated awning system through Gerard, that's also painted to match, it just has a very sleek look as it goes through. While we're looking at that, I want to point out that American Coach's slides are actually inset with the side wall of the coach. A lot of them will have that overlap. When it's inset like this, it just looks very clean. What is allowing them to do that are hydraulic HWH slides. So instead of just an electric ram driven piece or a Schwintech, they're going as far as putting these stronger, more reliable um, HWH hydraulic slides, which just really adds a lot to it. Not only that, Tommy was talking about the paint to slide. Let's kick it over to that. So one thing pretty unique about the American Coach paint job here is they actually paint to match the slide out box. Most of them you'll just see a black piece here, whereas this is all painted to match your line specifically. It just gives it that extra clean look that you see in a quality product like this. And we're back. So right here with your door, you can see you have a very nice wide 30 inch door, and then you have the built-in chrome piece. Let me show you how this goes. I love those steps. What are these steps called? I I'm not sure what they call them. I call them like cassette steps. Cassette steps? That's They're great. really nice. They just make it look flush. A lot better than like the camper style steps. Camper styles are going to have this heavy piece sitting right up the front and then just this open 
um, area underneath. It has the matching stainless steel. Yes. Open the door, you can have the American Coach emblem built in. Yes. Right here, we got nice frameless window. And then that just looks so good. Very clean, nice steps as you walk in. They're all quickie. The tile. So we'll call them quickie steps from Lippert. Fan freaking tastic. Yes, and then the steps walking in. So, so nice. Not only that, we got a nice grab handle here with the pushless key buttons right there. And then look at these tires, Tommy. They're the Michelins. I love those. 315-80R22.5 with those shiny Alcoa rims. Tommy, show us a little bit more about the storage. So with the Liberty chassis, instead of in this first bay having your fuel tank in the middle, they mount the fuel tank on the end, which gives you more accessible, more usable storage closer to the front of your coach here. So both of these are gonna be full pass-through bays with slide-out trays. This one does have your outside refrigerator option, which gives you two separate trays as opposed to the one, but same amount of space, just as easy to use. We love seeing it all right here where it's more accessible too. Yes. Um, while we're right here, let's point out this TV. I love how Rev always puts these huge huge TVs. Wow. Yes, it fills up the whole space. It comes out and turns and there's actually a Bose speaker mounted behind this. All Samsung smart TVs just like you have inside so it's a really convenient setup there. Moving towards this next bay here, you have this huge hydraulic system. So you have to have a stronger hydraulic system like this for both your um, hydraulic leveling system and these hydraulic slides. Um, and then right behind this where you can't really see you have a 150 gallon fuel tank. Wow. So as we move towards the back here, this is your battery systems. Man, that's a lot of batteries. Yes, sir, it is. You have eight 100 amp hour AGM um, waterless batteries. So this is your uh, power plant for the whole coach. And that is just a lot of power, 800 amp hours worth. Um, when you package that with the tech package you have here, you've got the 360 watts of solar. You have your precision circuits, power management system. Your battery bank and electrical system that controls this RV is just top of the notch really big fan of that um, now here is where your tanks are mounted just behind this bay you have 100 gallons of fresh water 75 gallons of gray 50 gallon black tank and then on the outside where you have this little extra space they mounted some more of your um, uh, I guess appliance controls you have your surge guard automatic transfer switch the solar charge controller built in here battery control center but just just a good use of that little extra space that you have yes sir so here's where things get really interesting on the chassis. This is a 24,000 pound V-Ride drive axle right here. It's the biggest one Freightliner makes. And then just behind that, you have your steerable 10,000 pound tag axle ratio. Between your, your front 17, the 24 and the 10 here, you have a huge strong suspension system. The more you weigh, the less you sway. On a short coach like this, the ride is just spectacular. And um, with the independent front suspension and steerable tag, that's what gives Freightliners ultra steer. So for a very nimble, um, you have a very nimble coach for this length. Part of that being 42 feet as well, um, gives you a shorter wheelbase. This is the easiest to drive tag axle coach that's out there as far as maneuverability goes. Love it. Uh, moving towards the back here. Of course, you got your air dryer, some chassis controls, your starting batteries. Wow. And then a, um, a def tank fill right there. Wow. Okay, moving along towards the back. Of course, you have the rear radiator here, so this is just going to be engine access. Um, you have a 15,000 pound tow capacity as part of that chassis package. And then you have built in brake sync air line. So if you choose to use an Air Force One or air assisted braking system, it already comes direct from Freightliner the way you need it to operate. Nice. There's a ladder to get up on the roof. It's a one piece fiberglass roof with three AC units. That's right. Solar. Solar. You have the cell booster, the satellite up there, um, and then a WineGuard Connect 2.0 system for Wi Fi. Guys, let me tell you something. If you guys haven't already smashed the thumbs up button, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Tommy, we don't have a brochure. Tommy just knows this. Again, there's a reason why we like to have them here on these $800,000 American coaches. So make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. We'll share Tommy, Tommy's contact info in a little bit later. Okay, moving alongside the back, you have your side radiator right here. That's going to provide a huge cooling power for a big engine that you have in the 450. And then right here, you see this door. Well, what's that? What is that? That is an exit door. So this piece will fold down. And what's inside are these little, um, I guess, cabinets. But once you flip them upside down, it's a little place for you to step so you can safely exit the vehicle in case of an emergency. Yeah, it's shelving. It's shelving that doubles the steps. I freaking love that. 
So right here, you have a, a, a fill for your DEF tank, but it's here on the driver's side. So okay. A convenience for you. Take a look right here at this full wall inset slide. It just looks so smooth. It's it clean. All the way down. Very clean. Not the breakups you get in the four slide coaches. I just really like the way that looks. Let me tell you guys something. If you guys are a fan of Andrew Steele and you like those Newells and you like the Prevos, but you've never had an RV, buy an American Dream. Spend five hundred thousand dollars trust me we'll tell you guys the sale price in a bit spend five spend six hundred thousand dollars on an eagle or something spend that price range first make sure you like the lifestyle and then in a year trade up to a newell or a prevo and let me tell you something you can you you will not be embarrassed going to the uh luxury resorts that mr our friend mr andrew Steele's clients like to go to this i mean is this American is dream. yeah it's very very nice and again, it's not a Newell, it's not $3 million, it's not a Prevo, but for a production coach to look just as good, if not better than some that I've seen on the road, it's very impressive. And for an American Coach product like this, you've got a two year bumper to bumper warranty. Right. Five years, 100,000 miles from Freightliner and accessible service nearly anywhere. It won't cost nearly what Prevo service is gonna cost. The vehicle itself, and we'll get to the sale price here in a little bit, but you will not believe how heavily discounted we have this specific unit. And that's why we chose we? this one. We? We. Well, I, I got approval from my boss, Justin Brown. You, not me. To give not special me. pricing <laughs> yeah. on this particular unit. We already have it advertised 41% off. Well, well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay. okay. We'll get to that Tommy, here yeah. in a little bit. I want to point out this stainless steel lettering you have there. That's just beautiful. Uh, as you open Tommy, up Tommy, you're, you're trying to get people to click off the show early. I like this one a lot. So what you have in this bay here, um, you have your black tank flush. Of course, you have a, a motorized electric reel. Yep. That's pretty nice right there. You also have built in a macerator system, um, whole house water filter, uh, touchscreen control. So you can turn your water pump on, check your levels. And then, of course, all your valves and drains, outside shower, all very conveniently placed and easy to get to spot. Love that. I also like how these doors close so smooth. They're insulated, mm. aluminum doors, but, but I mean, just a simple switch and they just close really smooth and hold tight. No need for me to slam those doors. So here you have a 450D aqua hot system. So this has the built-in engine block heater. Um, it's a tankless hot water heater and then a hydronic heating system for your coach. It's gonna work great in cold weather or if you just wanna stay warm and cozy. Um, here on the side, you have your um, central vacuum. Um, piece and then also the UV light feature. So this feature was uh, in a lot of your custom coaches, duels, prevos, uh, and they decided to bring it down to the American coach line, I think about two years ago, two or three years ago. But what that is, is it's a UV light that is inside of your gray and black tanks to uh, present, uh, prevent odor causing bacteria. And there's a couple other products that do pretty well for that. So working together, it's gonna be as clean as it uh, can possibly be. Yes, and then Miss Jen, if you could put, bing, all the rest of the specifications about this motorhome so everybody can see who is watching on television. So here in this bay, right in the middle of the coach, you have your powered um, electric reel. So it allows you to park in a variety of different places and still get to everything. And then with the convenience of a push button right there, Damn. you can bring that right back in. Um, also right here with your fuel tank mounted in the middle, you have a fuel, si a fuel fill on both sides. Love it. Okay, moving up, these two bays are gonna be your pass-through storage bays. Good access right there with the trays that come out. Yes, sir. Very nice. Also, this one has a uh, window awning package. Okay. So it's an add-on. Few people like. Pretty good. Your front bay, you have some electrical components built in here with an air service line. Okay. Uh, built in on the side. We'll go ahead and bring this out. Oh it's really boy. Cool how this thing comes out. Also, look at this right here. Hell yeah, America, red, white, and blue. Now on this coach, you have a 12,500 watt generator. That is just a ton of power for a three AC coach, a lot of electrical components. Having a bigger generator like that is gonna allow you to charge things up quicker and never really have to worry about overloading things. So right. If you off of this, you're not gonna have any issues at all. See how this is welded in on that slide? Okay. So it's just very sturdy. It's not gonna rattle around yes. at all for you. Just a very uh, nice design here. I love it. Well, Tommy, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Cargo carrying capacity is 5,466 pounds. 
All right, and when we enter this coach, look at the very nice stitching on the driver and passenger seat. It is definitely a little tight in here while you're driving down the road. You're gonna have to kind of walk sideways with your legs like this. And then this is something that we're gonna touch on later. Look at how the chairs have to kind of sit diagonally in transport mode. Now they do strap down, but the fourth leg doesn't sit on that. Coming on back here, you can get to the fridge. There you can see the rear bathroom, uh, bedroom bathroom. And then here, access to that half bath. Well, Tommy, we gotta get all these slide outs out. And while we do, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of this episode. Spring is here and that means it's time to get back to the great outdoors and go camping. But don't let a bad night's sleep ruin your camping trip. That's where our friends at RVMattress.com come in. They have a wide selection of mattresses designed specifically for RVers. All of their mattresses are made 100% in the USA and they're using the highest quality of materials available and offering free shipping. Hey everyone, I'm literally driving my truck down the road and I got the announcement that they are bringing back the dynamic code for Memorial Day. 32% off from today until the end of May. Make sure you click my link and use promo code Matt again for a record 32% off. Let's continue Ready? the video. Tommy, this motorhome is beautiful. Hands down, one of the best looking designs we're gonna we're gonna actually switch things up we're gonna end with the cockpit area at the end of this video so tommy tell me a little bit about what we got going on in this living room well the start of your 42 q foot uh, 42 q floor plan is, is right here and that's with your um motorized theater seating right across from your televator right here behind this couch with a pull out bed of course these front chairs turn around so you have a very comforting uh, welcoming living area here i think it would fit pretty well if you had guests or if you like to have a tv right there across from you but very good space to it look at these um uh, recliners have here. a seat sir they're nice and wide it's this nice apex furniture really nice uh, comfortable material plenty of space and of course you can always just kick these right out you got the lights you got the little uh, piece right here with the matching leather what a wow. nice little touch to, yes. go to the rv um as you get up from here i, I want to notice there's very good contrast a, a lot of them with the white cabinets especially just look very plain um, i think with the decor package you have here they add a little bit of extra depth yeah to the coloring well this, this is cabinet. all mindy this is all mindy all mindy from uh, apex she does a wonderful job all solid wood cabinets doors you have the ozite lined um actual storage bay in there so things are really quiet and comfortable don't shake around too much and look at these nice handles right instead of the cheap small handles you've got this um, shiny glossy looks like stainless steel piece here and it's just very comforting and strong yes and then these valances are beautiful and this is a rev group product which that means it's say approved approved Bing! oh <laughs> andrea you don't need to be here but we'll still approve your, your valances not only that, you got the daytime shades and privacy shades. And these are all power shades, both the day and the night shades, and they color match. Okay. So it matches the decor package that you have inside of instead of it just being a hard black. I really like that feature. But back to that contrast, um, instead of being that flat white, you have a little bit of a brown leather in here, like a khaki, and I right. think it complements the white very well. It feels very open. And then your flooring, nice glossy, lighter finished flooring with the darker furniture, it just adds a really mm. good touch. Um, as we move in, oh, hang on, can you show us this storage here? Yes, we got some extra storage up here above your pull out sofa. Yes. This storage goes all the way back, and you also have a plug up in there if you need to plug something in. So, not really only, nice storage here. Yeah, not only that, the TV does raise up, and then that right there. This is your tower of power. Oh, that's a very nice tower of power. You've got one right there. You've got one on the other side here and another tower of power as you go into your dinette area. Moving into the dinette, this has the hydraulic HWH slide system, which gives you a completely flush floor. So if you're sitting right here, you don't have a step up with one foot and your other foot sitting down low. It's just very comfortable. It feels like it should in a normal house with just a flat floor underneath you. Um, I want to point out right here that these countertops are really 
um, nice and dense. This is actual granite. Really? What most vehicles have is a Corian, which is a little bit more of a pliable material. You can um, cut it and see scrapes that happen in it. We're always polishing it down where you see wear and tear. This stuff is strong, sturdy. It's not going to have the same issues you have with Corian. Not only that, we got tons of cabinets above. We can get them all open. And these are a little bit deeper than the ones you have back there. Um, and then also underneath. Yes, very nice. You've got these big cabinets too. So wow. Having the table and chairs there really gives you a lot of extra storage. Now here's what I will say. Um, it is a pain in the butt having these chairs from the slide outs in. We'll get to that later. But what's you're not sitting in the chair with the slide outs in anyway you know what i'm saying so i'd rather have the slot the better seating area when the slide outs extended and it looks really really great so what do we got going on over here right over here you have your toe kick to start at the bottom very you cool have your fireplace your electric fireplace for some extra heating and then this nice little decor piece right here i think it complements the rest of the coach pretty well yes sir tommy can i be your andrea let's see it all right, in the kitchen. Oh, we're gonna start right over here. We have nice adjustable shelves. Again, another tower power right there. I love how many power outlets they're giving you throughout this whole motorhome. Very nice graystone hand tile laid backsplash with the window right here. Also, something to point out, the kitchen's on this side. So often we're getting the kitchen on the campsite. So I know not everybody likes the kitchen on the campsite, Actually, drop a comment down below. Do you prefer the kitchen on the driver's side like this or on the campsite so you can look out? Love to hear your feedback about that. Right over here, Tommy, we have a very nice pull-out peninsula with nice drawers, soft closed, nice drawers. No different than the dinette side is the HWH slide outs, no toe kickers, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times manufacturers will go cheap and do that. Right here, we have the very nice Fisher Pickel dishwasher. I love how it blends in. Nice storage right here with all your remote controls. Induction cooktop. Holy crap. It's heavy. That is the real deal. Holy crap. Nice induction cooktop. I would not travel with that sitting here. That sucker's. <laughs> it's heavy. Right. Holy crap. Guys, for real? This has to be 12 pounds. It's what probably that heavy. You see right here. Yeah, it's probably maybe 15. Right, this is heavy. Very nice. And then right over here, we got the very nice Samsung microwave. Convection oven? Convection. Yes. So nice. Finishing up in the kitchen, we have very nice storage here. Nice farmhouse style sink i love this pewter looking color looks very nice there is going to be a sink cover for here and then here yep here's your sink cover here's more storage and truthfully i would store this in here while transit i mean again that's heavy you don't want that flying on you and then right here water filtration system ice maker How does this, Tommy, help us out. This piece should pop up out of there. A little locking mechanism built in. Ah, oh, there you go. That piece pops off. It's supposed to keep things closed up when you're going down the road, but you right. have ice water on the door. This big, nice twin cooling refrigerator, which keeps things at the right humidity. And then you have the flex drawer. So what's really neat about this is it can be a freezer, it can be a wine cooler, it can be an extension to your refrigerator. You can program this however you'd like. Yep. And then the freezer down below. Freezer down below. Yes, Lots sir. Of space in there. And then right over here, we have a nice pantry. Love these pull out drawers, and they do lock into place. A little bit more pantry. Again, I love it. And I love how they're not all the exact same size either. And then coming on over here, Tommy, show us that in just a moment. But first, I want to show everybody this. Here's our power control center. Right here, nice mirrored medicine cabinet. Ran it in the bathroom as well. A little bit of storage right here, if you don't mind showing us. Toilet paper holder there. Porcelain toilet. Now, Tommy. If we were in a Class A gas motorhome, I would pass this. But this 
is not a prime poop in position. Womp, 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 womp. I want to let everybody know. It does not fail. But this just sticking out, it's just making me feel a little claustrophobic. Again, in a diesel pusher this size, I'm just not going to pass it. You know what I'm saying? No offense. It's just it is what it is. Tommy, show us what we got going on right here. So what you have right here is your Firefly Multiplex Control Center. Now this controls every piece of the RV. You can look on your home screen here and see a percentage um, uh, capacity for each of your tanks. It can tell you what's going on with each of your ACs. All your lights can be controlled from here as well. Aqua Hot, um, off diesel, off electric, your engine preheat. It's all right here. Um, as you go into your engine, you can program and see every part of your electrical system makes it very easy to operate this motorhome. It takes all the confusion out of it. What a lot of diesel pushers have, especially if you look at used ones from a few years ago, um, you'll see 25 different controls for every piece of the RV. The multiplex Firefly system brings it all together. It has its own um, internet sensor, um, internet connection built into it so it can update itself, which is pretty convenient. Um, also here you have your lights, your heated floor for the front and the rear of the coach, vents, um, also your blinds, you can control them all at once or each individually. Wow. Makes it really easy to operate. One of the coolest parts about it is you can connect to the mobile app. Um, this Vega Touch system allows you to do everything you can do here right from your cell phone anywhere in the world. So you can be a thousand miles away and make adjustments to your coach from wherever you are. And if you uh, do buy this coach, make sure you reset that pin. Yes, for the mobile app. Because <laughs> yeah, if you don't, somebody will hack this motor home. <laughs> Very interesting thought there. I wouldn't have even thought about it. Tommy, before you enter the bedroom, do you know what time it is? What time is it? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. You ready for this? Ready. MSRP on this motorhome here is... $811,997. Tommy, MSRP. Today is May something, and we have it... 41% off. Tommy, I said 41% off to 479.995. Tommy, I can promise you that is the best price in freaking America. 41% off. Guys, the diesels, they gotta go. Reach out to our team. Go to generalrv.com slash matscash. Link it down in the YouTube description below. But but wait. There's more. Holy smoke, say um, that again. But wait, there's more. I want to tell you guys for this coach in particular, this very stock number we're in. Hang on. Stock number is 271459. I know this coach very particularly because this is one we really, it, really want to sell. Hang on. It really is. <laughs> That's so funny. That is the right stock number. We're very in touch with our inventory here, and this is a unit that we have decided to put a special promotion on in addition to that 41% off. So 41% taken off of that MSRP brings you to a sale price of 479, but I have gotten approval on this unit particularly from Justin Brown. Thank not from Matt, from not Justin. Not from, from Justin Brown to discount this coach an additional $30,000 to a sale price of 4 dollars Fifty for a coach with an MSRP at eight hundred and eleven. That is the best deal on any diesel pusher anywhere in America. So That's I am forty-five percent off. Forty-five percent off. It's a huge discount on a great coach that has nearly everything. This is a deal that can't be beat. How do they get it? The best way to get it is to contact. No, no, no. The only way to the get it. The only way to get it is to contact yours truly right here, Tom Bennett, American Tom. And the best way to reach me is by phone. My cell phone number is 561-348-4231. You can also email me at tbennett, two n's, two t's, at generalrv.com. I am happy to help you out on this wonderful motorhome and get you out there on the road camping. Now, Tommy, before somebody's ready to buy this motorhome, let's finish showing them this beautiful beast. Okay, so we've seen the living room area. We've seen the half bath. As we move on back to the bedroom, I think the master suite in this 42-foot coach is truly spectacular. You've got a great living room or a bedroom here, king-size, adjustable bed. You've got huge storage up here on top goes very deep back here and it connects all three of these storage cabinets. Wow. This one also has this cut in right here which allows for a CPAP machine or something nice. like that. You also have the power already wired in the back. Up underneath here you've got your camera selector which is a form of a security system allowing you to use your cameras outside for security. And then another multiplex panel here where you can control all aspects of the coach. So really nice setup for your bedroom and plenty of space here. You know getting around here is not too difficult at all. 
You've got outlets, USB outlets, and a wireless charger right here on the same nice. uh, piece. And this is also matching granite, so they didn't get cheap about any of the other portions of the coach. One thing a lot of these coaches lack um, is bedroom storage for those folks who are going to stay in them long term and this floor plan gives you a ton because you've got the full closet in the back it allows for a huge number of gigantic cabinets wow right here so these drawers will come all the way out all soft clothes two separate pieces right here with extra storage kind of a his and hers setup um, you've got some storage right here so this is great for folks who want to stay long term and then there's more a hidden spot behind wow. your tv right here with a built-in safe wow and drawers or no we saw those drawers very nice every little bit counts in an rv like this and this one's got a ton get that middle one and that one at the no, 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 yep and then that one at the end no we don't need open. i'm trying to avoid opening up all of them <laughs> just get that one at the bottom okay okay you might as well that, that it wasn't that one tommy i was trying yes i was trying there to make go, i was trying go. to make a diagonal because they are all the same size we don't need to open all nine, but Tommy done open freaking seven of them. Might as well, you see all the space you got. Right, I mean, that is a lot of space. Awesome. Now, the master bath in this one up has got a ton of nice space in it. I love that you have the full closet across the back. It goes all the way off to the side here. If you want to see those little cubbies that they built in. Yes, wow. The matching woodwork and everything right there. Wow. A huge amount of space. You've got the washer dryer, which is the nicer Samsung too. Yes, it is. And some extra space for your chemicals and anything else you need to have back here in the bathroom. Did somebody say chemicals? <laughs> Liquefied. Go to primepoopmusician.com, pick up a bottle, and bam, Tommy, you're the smartest person I've ever met. I'll tell you, that fits pretty nice. Hey, I'm going to leave that in here. Well, because somebody... Somebody's gonna watch this video and then they're gonna get their own bottle of liquefied. If you get this RV, I will personally make sure you get a bottle of liquefied with you. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so your shower here, you can see how it's all fully tiled in with the waterfall edge right there coming yes. through. Nice big matching uh, hardware in the shower too with the raindrop setup. Oh, there. yes. You got the rocks in the floor, it's all very nice and there's a lot of space in there. Yeah, definitely good size. Uh, I actually really do love this, you know, plenty of size hand tiled like Tommy says. Teak seat there, very, very nice. Here's your vanity. One thing I like about this is um, there's a lot of them that have dual vanities and I know that's a very popular feature right now, but you lose a lot of space. This has some depth to it. There's plenty of space for where it comes out to. You got lots of storage here. Big setup right there, outlet on the side, extra storage here at the bottom, and then an extra drawer. Yes. And then all of this storage here as well. Wow. It also gives you a little separation for where the toilet is back here, and I like that a little bit. Yeah, definitely. And then nice outside, floors. we were talking about that exit door. This is your, um, I guess it's a little shelving that's shelving, built in, yeah. but this is made to hold your full weight, because on the bottom, you can see there's a little patch they put on there so yes. you have better grip if you ever have to skate. Yes, sir. And then Tommy, I know it was a little controversial in that bathroom over there, but Tommy, this is undisputable, undisputable. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! Very nice. And Tommy, as nice as it is and as great as it is, and even though it's 811,000 MSRP, and even though we have it 45% off, it's time to give people three things we love about this motorhome, three things we don't like. What do we do first? Let's start with the things we don't like. First. Well, first okay. we can talk about what we like. But no, 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 you said dislikes. You said dislikes. Okay, let's do the dislikes. Okay, you go first and I'll finish it with number two and three. Well, I, I know there's the one piece you had mentioned in here, so I'll save you that one. Okay. I can say one thing that I dislike about this one is the size of your pullout bed. Um, when this comes out here, it's not a queen size pullout, it's more of a full. Okay. Um, so I think if you wanted to have two adults sleeping there, it's just a little tight. Ah, uh, so it really is a three sleeper. Yes, I, I would say three sleeper, unless you have two guests who really like each other. Yep, there you go. That's dislike number one. Tommy, dislike number two, you're 100% right. I am saying these chairs, when, these, when the slide out was in, the chairs have to be angled up this way. Mm -hmm. um, it's just kind of funky, it's a pain in the butt. It doesn't perfectly fit on that slide out. But again, as we mentioned earlier, I much prefer it being more flush floor when the slide out's out than worrying about when the slide out's in. You know what I'm saying? That's dislike number two. And then Tommy, do you have a dislike number three or would you like me to go? I would like for you to go, although I think I know what you're gonna say. 
What's that? I think you're going to go with the half bat. Yes and no. I don't mind that it's not a prime poop position. Again, it would have been a prime poop position if we were in a cheaper motorhome. But to, for for me to get to the half bath when the slide out was in um, was just a little tight. More, It was more the walking way, walking through this whole motorhome with the slide out in. Again, it doesn't help how portly I am. But just know it is a little bit of a pain in the butt. But respectfully, all the diesels are pain in the butts when you have these opposing slide outs. Tommy, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we absolutely love. Why should somebody buy an American Dream? Well, we can't talk about American Coach without bringing up the chassis. The ride and drive experience here is oh, top notch. We're not done. We got to show them up front. Okay, that's guys, fine. quick pause. Tommy, what do we got going on up here before we tell everybody our likes? Well, when you look at the cockpit of this American Dream here, everything is designed um, for an automotive experience. You can see every bit of your controls from right here. You have the OptiView Digital Dash, your Excite panels, which will show you what you have with your Mobileye Collision Avoidance System, your navigation, your radio controls. It's just all very user-friendly. Um, up here you have controls for your air leveling system where you can make adjustments for travel mode or if you're parking and leveling off of there. Um, you've got a really nice kind of wrap around um, dash here that just feels very comfortable. You've got a nice window built in right here. Mm. You've got this comfortable seat with the air um, and heat. So heating yes. and cooling seats with your footrest that pops out when you have this thing turned around. Everything just feels very nice. Um, also, it has this window that kind of sits down just a little bit, which I believe gives you a nice shaded feel up here. It's just very comfortable. It really is. And then Tommy, sitting here in the co-captain seat, I 100% agree. You got this step cover here, power passenger seat, recline, make all the adjustments I need. I even got a little side camera here so I can back seat drive while Tommy's, Tommy's going down the road. Everything that I want right here is super comfortable. I don't have a workstation, but again, you're hardly seeing those on diesel pushers and it's really nice. So Tommy, what you're saying is the way this drives is like number one? Well. Absolutely. With the ride and drive you have here, everything is very smooth, comfortable, quiet. The technology is amazing. The adaptive air system for driving down the road is going to make it very comfortable. With that shorter wheelbase at 42 feet, it's going to be as maneuverable as any tag axle coach can possibly be. And with the ultra steer setup, it's only going to add to that even more. I love the way this coach drives and its chassis, the Liberty Bridge, paired with all Freightliner components, the Cummins, the Allison. Everything is just top notch and that's definitely like number one. Tommy, what's like number two? Like number two, it's got to be the, the the slide system that allows for these slow. Yeah. A lot of coaches in this, even in this category, with things like uh, Anthem, uh. um, you'll have some sort of overlap. Yep. Or some sort of uh, weird rubber thing they place in there, and this just has a very flush, very smooth look that makes it feel more luxurious. Yes. You know, it doesn't make it feel like an RV. It feels like a home. Yes. Really, really nice. That's number two. And then Tommy, give, oh, I'm gonna combo that with the exterior paint slide out. You know what I'm saying? You're spending a lot of money. I want it to look good parked. I want it to look good driving. I want it to look good all the time. That's number two. And then Tommy, give us like number three. For like number three, I'm gonna have to go with Apex. Their furniture is spectacular. I think it adds a residential feel to a coach like this. Um, Mindy's fantastic. Mindy's They're, fantastic. It's really easy to work with them. I also like the material, how this stuff holds up. The partnership with American Coach and Apex really makes a huge difference in making these coaches feel very residential. But if you're going to live in it, if you're going to stay in it for a long time, why not have top end luxury? And let me tell you something. Um, you know, I think if somebody's watching this for the first time and they see how beautiful this motorhome is, stand right here. They might take that for granted and be like, oh, they're all beautiful at this level. Guys, we've talked about Mindy a hundred times on the show. From the Fleetwood Flare all the way up to the American Eagle, they all look fantastic like this. And they all have their unique different looks. And she just does a fantastic job. Her and her team do a fantastic job designing these things. Making it, my opinion, if you're at this level looking at the competitors, I mean, this is some high-end stuff that you're getting at a lot better price. 
I really want to point something else out here too. If you look at tag axle coaches, there's a lot of them out there with rear radiators, more basic components that are priced the same as this, if not even more. This is barely more money than a Discovery LXC. And what a jump you get. The air system, the hydraulics for your slides, the side radiator, the bigger chassis system with the Liberty Bridge. This is bang for your buck, top end coach value at a portion of the price. I think it's an amazing deal. Definitely worth looking at. Some lucky person out there is going to get this thing for $450 and you just can't beat it. $449, $999. That's right. Mm. The extra $5 will take off for you. Yeah. Tommy, that's it. That's the review. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Tommy, thank you so much for doing an Labyrinth RV tour. If you guys are interested in any RV, you can always go to generalrv.com slash matscash fill out that form a member of my team will reach out to you we can sell you any product anywhere in the country but if you want to work with tom if you're looking at american coach or any high-end diesel especially if you live in the tampa area tom how do people get a hold of you you can give me a call right there on my cell call text you can email me uh the best number to reach me is my cell I always have it on me it's 561-348-4231 thank you again for taking a ton of time showing us this beautiful motorhome guys final thing both Tom and Becky that participate in the show, they don't get, I get paid to film these, right? They don't. If you really appreciate the work that they're doing and you're looking to buy an American coach, please reach out to Tom. If you're looking to buy a B-Van, please reach out to Becky. They don't get compensated to help me. They help me, cut one, because they're my friends, my dog. Two, because they are the most knowledgeable people about their product and category. Please reach out to them. Thanks guys so much for watching. We'll see you again next time.